This is called sex education ghetto style. I was doing it when I was generating a good network and uh, fuck you. <laughs> Internal. It's a hip high buttock crash. Impact. I was doing it in my teenage years when I was running the ghetto street. Now, I had never seen me no ink blot test, but it still felt good to me. You know, it's all about it. timing. There's, like, it's not a good idea to run in the field right now, right? Don't do it. If they're busy, don't even bother. I towed uh, three uh, Bordeloos, Dixies, behind Fred's car. It, I felt like uh, Santa Claus. And it's not when they're going alone to the toilet. No. It's not the good moment. Somebody did poo under the rim. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> when the guys are there as well. That's the best. Okay. okay. Yeah, you can't show that on television. You know, I might not be either be interested in either one. Yeah, the one like a dance of doom. Always bring a tent. Uh, don't put smelly socks around the thing. And act like you don't really want to give up your... But the prize is being called the ultimate cock. If you look at me and say, like, this guy doesn't pay any attention to what he's wearing, right? I did, though. Now he's always trying to get my pants off. It's because he doesn't get enough at the flying pig, but... Was yesterday at Windmill Lineup the first time you ever oiled yourself up? Bogey in the man at Cougar on 4. Cougar on 4. Over and out. Oh, wait. Niels is going to think that's me talking. Yeah. And I can advise to anybody because it's slippery at first. The next morning, your skin is soft like a beach. Yeah, yeah. Hanging out, it's good. It's good. So it's an inspiration for an entire generation. For generations, entire entire species. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good, right? Uh, I don't like artificial fields, but no, I don't wait on one yet, and that's it's good. Plus, Mr. Pod Ladies here. Ladies love DJ.